Hello and welcome back to Everything Gaming. Um, I'd like to start by apologising because I've not been very active lately. Um, I've actually managed to purchase my first house, so obviously I've been moving in um, and it's been a very, very busy time. But I'm back at it now and we are going to be doing this week's Forza Thon guide called 19 to the Dozen, which wants you to own and drive any super saloon. Um, and just like last week's, it's another repeat of a Forza Thon that was done earlier in the year. Now, what we're going to do is just search under your cars for uh, super saloons and you can pick whichever one you want now there is a plethora of cars to pick from you know bmws um, mercedes but i actually went for the audi rs6 avant 2015 one um, primarily because it's all-wheel drive it's got the audi quattro system uh, which will come in handy later now I have tuned it to be an S2 class with 1200 brake horsepower and you can download the tune there. Um, and the first challenge just wants you to get five triple pass skills. Now I did this at the Moorhead Farm wind circuit but you can do it on whichever race you want. It's entirely down to yourself. Um, I picked this one because the corner is quite easy to get some pass skills. Um, so what you'll see now um, is as soon as I pick the solo race I just start the normal uh, three lap one. So I don't do anything specific but what I have done is actually changed the difficulty to new racer so the easiest difficulty um, and the reason is it just makes life a bit easier so it's only just for this race to complete this challenge um, you can leave it on whatever difficulty you're on but i found it a lot quicker and easier just to do it this way you know you just want to get these fours on challenges done and out of the way now at the beginning of the race you saw there that i let everyone pass me um, and that's because you end up catching them up on the corners which is where you can get your overtake skills and again once you've overtaken them as you can see here i just stop slow down to the middle of the pack or even the back of the pack it's entirely down to yourself um, and then like i said as soon as you come out of that corner you can just fly past them um, and definitely being on the easier difficulty makes life a lot easier so just there you saw me get two sets of triple pass skills um, which is almost half of the challenge done just there in 10 seconds and as you can see now I'm just sort of holding the pack up uh, now the reason for this is because it means that the people at the very back have time to then catch up so you've got a much thicker pack in the middle there and as you can just see there as soon as you hit that corner you just overtake a whole group of them you know whether it's three or four and you'll get that triple pass skill uh, and of course all the triple pass skill is overtaking three people in quick succession now the next challenge wants you to earn 12 side swipe skills uh, which is actually fairly easy uh, and i went over to the airstrip now the reason is is because there's just so much stuff to smash into uh, and for those of you who don't know a side swipe skill is a drift skill and a wreckage skill at the same time so all you have to do is drift into an object as i'm doing here and you will quickly rack up the side swipe skills so anything from shrubbery and trees to fences to cones uh, bins whatever anything that you can get a wreckage skill on all you have to do is drift through it uh, and you will get the side swipe skills it's actually fairly easy um, it might take you know five to ten minutes depending on sort of the tuning your car but this is the other good thing about using the audi rx6 because it's actually quite a long car so you've got more chance of clipping things and hitting into things that you might not have in a smaller car for example the m2 now the final challenge just wants you to get three stars on the swan dive danger sign now three stars on this is 750 feet uh, and it's actually fairly easy so if you sort of spawn directly in front of it as you can see i am here you line up and just sort of drive straight into the fields uh, and then just do a u-turn keep an eye on your mini map to make sure you're pretty much still lined up with the with the actual jump itself so i'm just off but i managed to save it at the end uh, and as long as you hit the jump at around 140 mile an hour you will easily get over 750 feet so as you saw there i pretty much got 780 feet that challenge another very quick and easy one will literally take a minute now i hope that you guys enjoyed this video um of course i'm going to be back on track now i've got everything set up again um but i want to say a massive thank you to everyone who's still been supporting me um and if you are new to the channel and you're enjoying the content please don't forget to subscribe and if this video helped you out please do drop a like uh, but if you have any comments or questions please do say down below but apart from that guys a massive thank you all the best and take care